Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the first half of November of 2020 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I wanted to guide the energies into areas of depression, for I know that there are some people who are dealing with depression at this time or who may know someone who is dealing with depression. When one is depressed, it's become it's because your chakras have become unbalanced. So how do we know if we are in a balanced energy or not? Well, we start with the base chakra, right? We ground ourselves. We take maybe starting out with 10 or 15 minutes where we shut off all the noise around us, where we light a candle, maybe play soft music, stare out the window, stare at a beautiful wallpaper on your computer, but sit in the energies of silence. If it is uncomfortable in the first 10 minutes, then that means that there is more of this that needs to take place, right? So maybe assign a time every day or come up with a time when you can to sit quietly. Uh, take advantage of that grounding energy to pray to spirit about what it is you are passionate about in your life. For we were all sent here to discover our life's purpose, to create something that not only fulfills us and provides us financially, spiritually, and emotionally, but that at some point we can share with the world. So the base chakra is about grounding yourself until your sacral chakra lights up, right? This is energy of passion and creativity. I know what it is I want to at least try at this time. Therefore, I'm going to go to Walmart and get the oil paints, brushes, and canvases, and I'm going to paint my little heart out, knowing that as I ground myself, as I create something I enjoy, not only will this bring me balance, but it will open me up to, is this my purpose or not? Coming up with maybe an additional idea and so forth until you discover what it is that really you're passionate about. Maybe it's about helping others. Maybe it's about helping animals. Because next, after the sacral chakra is lit up with passionate ideas and goals and creativity, then the solar plexus within you starts to shine brightly. I know what it is I want to learn. So I'm going to watch some uh, videos on oil painting. I'm going to research diff different things about oil painting. I'm going to feel so good about this process of is this my truth and who I was meant to be that I'm so excited to learn and do that my heart chakra starts to light up. Now you'll know it's lit up when you start to automatically give thanks to spirit for the the fact that spirit has guided you into the direction of something you're passionate about. Uh, remember, give uh, thanks daily to spirit about your soulmates, your family, your friends, the path by which you were meant to be in, and the people of whom by which you've been blessed to have in your life. For And give thanks as well to the realization of what it is that makes you passionate about that you are creating and want to uh, manifest for the long term. For eventually the throat chakra will be lit up and we will start to want to communicate our gifts, our talents, our skills. What it is that we have learned or are learning. We will feel as though we want to express our creativity. Remember in Hebrews he learned obedience through what he suffered. So the most difficult things that happened in our lives happened in order for us to remember them, right? If they weren't difficult, we wouldn't remember. And those situations are tied to what our sole purpose is. So one could look back at when they were depressed and then how they climbed out of there and became... Uh, very skilled at their gift, where they know what they're manifesting day to day. They're very passionate about their lives. How you can go back and lift people up who are where you used to be. Once you start to share your gifts with others, it's kind of a mirroring effect, right? Spirit speaks to us 
through the response of others. If it's negative, that means that's not the gift, the talent. And then it's time to come up with a new idea. But to consistently trust and have faith that spirit is going to guide you to see clearly the aspects of your truth what it is that fulfills you, what it is you're passionate about, what it is that you're receiving positive responses uh, in connection to. For then your crown chakra will light up. Then your star, right? We're all meant to be a star. Some are famous singers, some are famous actresses or actors. Uh, they have found their purpose, right? And now they are inspired. They know where they're headed and what they want to accomplish. So too can this happen to any of us if we will nurture the process and honor the gift as we start to come into an awareness of that, right? We need to remember to give thanks to spirit because we're coming into a spiritual awareness of what our soul purpose is. Once we discover our soul purpose, that's when we step into a path of peace, joy, and happiness, right? We go from being depressed, lost, and stagnant into an exciting new journey, an awareness of one's gifts, and or their truth, who they were meant to be. <clears throat> so I chose the Chakra Deck by Rochelle Sharman, and I'm going to do a circle spread for whichever Sagittarius I'm reading for during this general reading, representing the first half of November of 2020. So in the center of the circle spread at the beginning of November of 2020, we have a Sag who is in the I Am Presence energy. I know who I am. I know where spirit is guiding me. I know that slowly but surely things will unfold. Therefore, in my thoughts during the beginning of November of 2020, with the determination energy, I will conquer. I will succeed. I will push beyond until I can step into the full presence of who I know I am. So in the relationship sector during the first half of November of 2020, we have forgiveness. Spirit's advice here is to remain determined to forgive others or another. For right now, Spirit is wanting you to recognize your divine wisdom, right? Who you are within, your truth, your gifts, your talents, your skills. How you can create not only these wonderful creative projects and ideas, but how you can share them with the world. Passionate about communication. Realizing who you are in the first half of November of 2020. Now in the actions position. This Sag is being nudged to take action in the area of love. Maybe you were holding back in the area of love. But now, all, now as you move forward in a determined way and open your heart to who you truly are, you can forgive those who maybe didn't respect who you are and where you are headed. For what you are creating is filling up your heart. It's filling up your passion. So in the emotional aspects position by mid-November of 2020, we have listening. I'm going to wait as I step into a new direction with the number two in 24 because I know that I am going into the direction of the number four, which is a solid foundation. Two plus four is six. I know that with determination, I will succeed. So in the subconscious position, we have play. Sag, I feel during the whole month of November, spirit saying, go with the flow. Forgive uh, whoever doesn't appreciate your determination. And, and definitely acknowledge that divine wisdom is guiding you to take action in the area of love and become who you were meant to be. I am what? A loving, caring, giving, creative person. And I will wait and listen emotionally, in a playful way, day to day. For in the day to day aspects position, I know that with the life purpose energy and number 22, I was in one path, circumstance, situation, or direction, and now I can step into the doorway of another. 
So day to day, I know my life's purpose. I'm recognizing divine wisdom. I am excited here uh, passionately. Um, and I am learning about this doorway. A new path, a new direction. So in your inner strengths position, spirit is just giving you the strength during the first half of November of 2020, Sag, to... Remain clear with yourself, especially in the area of love. There is love here, and this love is tied to who you are. And if there has been any confusion, Spirit's saying, forgive that. Listen playfully, for Spirit is trying to guide you into a new life path, direction, idea, or project. And Spirit's also giving you the strength to be clear with yourself about that so in a three card summary to my left with the same chakra deck got the first couple cards representing the first week of november of 2020 we've got abundance and the truth finding balance in the midst of some form of abundant offer or opportunity and spirit saying visualize what a beautiful path ahead looks like for spirit is going to give you signs and synchronicities you're going to start to recognize signs and synchronicities of psychic development that there is a wisdom coming from within me and that as i remain flexible i will be able to heal from any indecision as to what action steps I should take. Why? Because some Sages, like the collective, are going through a rebirth. They're leaving an old path, circumstance, situation. They're moving into a new direction. And Spirit's giving you this inner strength here, Sagittarius, to connect uh, with the situation or to deal with the situation that involves your inner child, your childhood, your past, or children. There may be a desire here to communicate something that you were not able to say in the area of family um, I do feel like there's a lot of power here you knowing uh, who you are what you want and you're trying to find clarity in some form of relationship and it's like the more you listen with determination the quicker uh, that clarity will come in the area of love and then you're going to feel more powerful if you're in a relationship it's going to be a more powerful relationship uh, yeah some of you you're being guided to go towards that no matter what anybody says so they're saying ground yourself with meditation right with a hobby gift talent skill or that quiet time ground yourself with the base chakra energy and find peace when it comes to your family tree maybe with that tree energy for spirit is guiding you to let your light shine and to go after that which inspires you to enjoy maybe the next few months creating a new beginning creating a new beginning maybe with a mother figure grandmother figure with a wife figure with a girlfriend figure with a mother of your child figure or this is you creating a brand new path and healing as you let go of old circumstances, situations, connections. There's spiritual awareness of now I can find peace. Now I can master old energies where I questioned the area of love and step into a blessed path of peace. I just need to wait. And there is determination here. So follow your heart. You know what you're determined to do. Be who you are. Step into that journey. Divine wisdom is all around you. Just listen for the clarity. Remain playful and open your heart to what can now be. So I'm going to clarify, let's see which card. I think the listening card in the emotional aspects position. Should these messages have resonated for you and you want further questions regarding which people, places, circumstances, situations, and etc. that you may be dealing with in the first half of November, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So please clarify the listening energy in the emotional aspects position of the circle spread. So we have the magician. This is someone who is wanting to manifest. Yes, you've been there, done that, and now you 
have the magician energies sag to manifest the ten of cups energies a happily ever after peace joy and happiness why because someone gave you something in the area of the pentacles money uh, and offer an opportunity in the area of money alone or things of the material. Uh, there's a little bit of fear here that someone is trying to manipulate a situation or that someone's not being completely honest. There's part of you who wants to communicate out with someone um, and maybe even go away from this offer. That's interesting. Why would we do that? So we have, here's this new beginning, unsure of the Ace of Pentacles, this gift from the universe, uh, a beautiful path, a win, uh, uh, an inheritance, or a path that will grow and prosper. Um, there's a lot of hope here, maybe that someone will grow and prosper who has Gemini in their chart with the lover's energy. Or this is, I want a new path with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because I feel passionate energy. I want to communicate and maybe with the seven of swords, sneak away in a new direction. But I know that if I move into this new direction, that there is a chance or I, uh, the three of swords is like heartache because of some form of communication or knowing that if you communicate about this lover's energy, um, you could lose what you were determined to accomplish in the first place. Yeah, so there's a karmic situation here and Spirit's saying be careful of secrets. Someone may come playfully towards you, Sag, in the beginning of November, who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with the Knight of Cups energies. A wish may come true. And you start to recognize victory. Uh, wanting to step into a new path, maybe towards an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, or Gemini, or wanting to cut away from feeling stuck or trapped. Yeah, thinking of the past with the Six of Cups energies. And a marriage and stress related to that for some. Okay, so by the second week of November of 2020, we have uh, here you are in your element, male or female, the king of wands, setting goals and meeting goals to manifest uh, great financial independence, um, setting goals and meeting goals to come into connection with maybe someone who is financially independent, waiting on someone to bring you like this light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, a money offer will come eventually. But yet they're clarifying it here with the temperance angel. We have a Sagittarius here with this major arcana that's feeling like their um, sanctuary is turning into an uncomfortable coffin. They want to come together and work with another or others regarding money and or. Um, there could be a three-party situation with someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I don't see action here. I see the hanged man energy. So Spirit is helping for this Sagittarius to look at things from every perspective. Because Spirit is trying to guide the Sag into the path of a new love direction. Either a new love, a renewed love with the Queen of Wands. Somebody who you notice when she walks in the room, she gets things done. She's very passionate. Yeah. So someone here it needs to leave troubled waters, worries, and fears of the past behind and not give up, especially when it comes to home and family. Because there's indecision regarding someone else. There are harsh truths. And someone or something may come in very quickly and you realize it's an empty offer. So if you're feeling alone in any way, communicate that with someone and then tell them or work with them. Because love will bring you into an abundant new journey. Something involving money or things of the material. Remember, it's a journey of self-mastery. Not taking action until you know what peace represents to you. Okay, so thank you so much to those of you, you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. To those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you to those of you whom have commented and let me know how these messages have resonated in your journey. Thank you to those of you whom have attended the Wednesday live Zoom cast at noon U.S. Central Time. And thank you to those of you whom have attended the live video podcast chat on YouTube Thursdays at noon U.S. Central Time. Um, 
Thank you for the follow-ups for the month-to-month -month readings how, and the emails that help for me to see how these messages help to lift you into the highest best decisions and the highest best paths of peace, joy, and happiness. Take care and God bless.